All right, what is going on guys? We are about to get on the water. I just grabbed some gas and a few things at the store. But today we are going to do something different. This is actually gonna be my third video ever, I believe, if I'm counting right, that I've actually filmed in the afternoon or not in the morning actually. But the wind is blowing pretty good right now, about probably 15 to 20 miles an hour, maybe a little bit faster than that. And I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to catch fish in I guess bad weather, which I would call 20 mile an hour winds bad weather. Most people wouldn't take out the boat in 20 mile an hour winds, but we're gonna do that today. We're gonna find some fish and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get right into it, boys. <laughs> Right now, it is, uh, yeah, definitely blowing 2025. 20, um, but one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is um, how do you find fish in uh, bad weather conditions? So, today the wind is blowing uh, 20 to 25 out of the north, northeast. So, if I face the north, northeast, the wind should be blowing straight in my face, okay? So what I'm gonna wanna do is try to find an area where the land basically is perpendicular to the way the wind's blowing. So I'm gonna want to put the land between me and the wind. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I wanna find little spots where the wind is blowing over the top of uh, the land and it's gonna make the water very glassy and calm, or at least calmer than what it is right here, which is like six foot chop and I'm blowing like five miles an hour just by the wind. But I think we're gonna start off, we're gonna throw something subsurface, something flashy. I'm about to pull it out in a second and uh, let's get on them, boys. I am actually gonna go right back to what I originally had on, which was, the Yozuri uh, 3D inch or pencil. So I'm gonna throw that on and we're gonna throw a top water for a little bit. And it's uh, a little bit different than what most people would throw on a windy day in the afternoon, but I love throwing top waters at all times. And uh, hopefully it's gonna work out for me here. Let's see. What the? Dude, this trout just sucked it under and did not even touch the surface. Sucked it under without touching the surface. <laughs> Alrighty, first fish of the day is super dark trout. All right, let's see if we can unhook this guy safely. There he goes, all right. Little dink, but it is the first trout of the day. And um, found the first one. So now what we gotta do is find the second one, see if we can't find a pattern on where these fish are sitting. I saw some mullet floating out here, out in the open, and I wasn't seeing mullet out there up under the mangroves, which is where I was originally thought there would be fish. So I decided to make one cast out in the open, and I'm not surprised that that fish was with the, uh, with the mullet. See if we can't get a big one here. I think I might, in a second, switch up to something subsurface, because this top water is having a little bit of trouble working in the bit of chop that's out here. I think I might switch to a shrimp. Oh, it is very windy. All right. Not even just a little bit, it's just a lot of it. There's a fish. Is this what I think it is? I think it is. I think it's a red. Or a fat trout. Oh no, it's a really fat trout. It, it is a very fat trout. I basically threw it into his mouth. Let's go. Let's go. This is a fat trout. I basically threw it right into his mouth right off this point here. Bright yellow mouth. Come here. Man, I virtually threw it right into his mouth there. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Before it even hit the bottom, I felt it, and I was like, I think a fish just grabbed it, because I felt a little tap. <laughs> yes, sir. That is gonna be close to one of the biggest trout ever caught on the channel right there. He's gonna be 22, 23, not a massive one, but a very, very healthy one right there. The second we got out of the wind right there, um, actually just crossed like a very strong channel and got to this glassy area. First cast, really, very nice trout. Very, very nice trout. 
see in there maybe if you can see in there a little jig head he crushed that little shrimp so let's go ahead and get him uh unhooked and uh released but super nice speckles very nice fish go ahead and just lay him back in it might take off let's see <sighs> very nice trout super super big speckles on the back there oh kick in kick in there he goes nice fish nice fish that is the first solid fish of the day and it came on let me show you guys what we're throwing here came on this little shrimp right here it is almost like it is very small i think it's just a two inch shrimp right there on a jig head and it is a very good combo right there so i thought that was actually a redfish the first i saw it because of the big head shake and how big it was i was like it's got to be a you know little 20 inch red and it ended up being a nice trout so still searching for that 30 incher that i have not ever gotten in my life but maybe we'll find them soon maybe it might be today there's a fish not bad not bad not bad let's sink down to the bottom there for a second and we got third trout of the day not a huge one not a tiny one Ugh. come here little guy not a giant one but we'll take it take it seems like there's a lot of bait getting pushed with the wind here down this uh calm shoreline like it's it's calm but it's not like super choppy and windy but we'll see Oh, I got thumped and I missed him. He's still on it. Did he get it? Oh, he did get it. Nice. Right on the point here. That is a freaking fat trout. Oh my gosh. Really healthy fish. Come here. Oh, he's barely, barely hooked. Oh. Look at how fat this trout is. He's like a freaking football. Oh, oh my gosh. That is a super fat trout. Look at the stomach. Wow. That is super cool. Oh, that might be like the fattest trout for how long he is that I've ever seen. Let's see if we can get him. Ah! See if I can get him unhooked here. I knew he was going to shake right as I took the pressure off him. What a fat freaking trout, dude. What? Oh. Shook it right there. All right, easy release, but what a fat trout. What the heck? That was like a 16 inch trout and was probably like the weight of like a 20 inch trout because of just how big the belly was. I knew right there. So right there, actually, let me just explain that. Uh, I was right coming off of a point where the wind was blowing very hard. And just like the uh, previous spot where I'd caught a trout, there was just on the right hand side, the land starts to bend and the wind kind of comes off that point there. And there's like a little glassy pocket. So right then again, that trout was sitting right in the glassy pocket next to where the wind was blowing uh, pretty strong and there was probably a pretty good current. So probably what I'm assuming these fish are doing is just sitting, you know, right next to the current and these points where uh, bait and stuff are obviously just getting pushed through with the uh, wind and stuff. So they're probably just sitting there waiting for a mullet, maybe a shrimp, anything just to get pushed by and they just, that's where they ambush it. So it's our, I think that's my fourth fish of the day and I think I'm getting eaten again. Let me see. Man, this is windy. All right, I think I'm going to have to call it right here. I think we're ready to go home. Uh, sun's pretty much getting close to going down. I got to make it back to the boat ramp before it is dark because then I'm in trouble if I don't. So we're going to film the rest of the way out of here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. It's probably going to be a pretty rough run. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, so back in the car after about uh, I think that was about three hours of fishing right there 
And uh, I think we did not a bad job in, um, let's just say, 20 to 25 mile an hour winds. It was pretty rough. I mean, around some of those banks, I was really like, the boat was really bouncing. And uh, I think we did a good job. We learned that, you know, fish like to sit in those pockets, those calm little pockets right outside the, wi the windy blown out areas. And yeah, I think that's all I got for the day, guys. If you guys uh, wanna see anything different in my videos or have any, you know, comments, make sure to leave a comment down below, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I think other than that, I think that's all I got for today, guys. We're gonna go home, get something to eat. And uh, I think I will see you guys in that next video. See you guys. Ooh.